Készen állok. Indulásra kész. Sorakozó! Figyelem! Indulásra kész. Készen állok. Oh, hello guys! Today we're gonna play my second favorite mod in Hearts of Iron 4. Yeah, it's Führer Redux. And yeah, today we're gonna play as the one of the most interesting countries in this modification. And yeah, it's Hungary Republic. Weak Hungary Republic. That is the smallest one version of the Hungary that I ever seen. This Hungary even lost Alfold and parts of the Burgenland. And the population of our Hungary is 5.88 million people. It's too small for our country. We need at least 15 million people living in our country. So that we need also control of the Gorski Kotar. We need access to the sea. And in this campaign you will see the great Hungary. Дякую. And total manpower of our army is 6000 men. Are you kidding me? 6000 men. It's not even one normal division. It's a half of the normal division. Repairing the economy must be our top priority. I don't like that we have disarmed nation. We need to change it to extensive conscription. In my opinion, we have an interesting focus tree, and now we are doing the political stabilization because we need the popularity of national populism and, of course, entrench the arrow cross. Damn dreads. Fuck the socialists. In March 1936, we decided to end the republic and create the Hungarian national states. Sounds great. Sounds as a Balkan superpower. I like that Hungary. Hungarian state. Of course we will focus on the military industry focus. Ooh, I like this. We need that focus. Two military factories, two civilian factories and a few bonuses. So let's just try. No one gave back our territories, so we will crush them. But at least I tried. A quiet rearmament, like the German Reich in the real history was doing. So let's go by the tree of the secret training camps, plus a lot of manpower, plus 35,000 people, okay, and there will have the most interesting focuses like the Transylvania or war, demand Burgenland the question of South Slovakia, the fate of Slovakia, and of course the fate of Illyria. So we will go there, and if we will have time, we will go to that focus tree. Oh no, in Austria we have now the Communards, so we need to destroy Austria as fast as we can. Now we have army, a good army, 18 divisions, just look at this. Isn't it great? And we also have a manpower. Oh, now we have a legionnaire Romania with Valkistin the power. Just look at the buffs of the Treaty of the Trianon. So we are going to renounce that fucking treaty soon. In the August of the 1937. So we need to push this focus to go further. So we will go there. Purchase the German weapon. And yet yeah, Germany sent us weapons. In the September 1937, we are going to renounce the fucking treaty of the Trianon. We are going to trail all our enemies. Serbs, Romanians, Slovaks, Austrians. Oh, there we have a Transylvanian volunteers in our army. So we have a full one army, 24 divisions. Okay, and the first thing is that we are going to demand the return of the Alfold. This is our territory. It's a real our territorians. No Romanians live right there. You can see it's an occupied state for Romania, not like other provinces. They are the core state for Romanians. Oh, new volunteers from Romania. Zupa. 
And yeah, Romanians gave to us Alfold. They are living Alfold. Romania, you going to give back all our territories soon. Now we are gonna go to the Slovakia and question of the South Slovakia. And after taking the South Slovakia, we will take the whole Slovakia. But taking back of the Alfold is the first great victory of the new Hungarian state. Slovakia considers to our demands. The great job Southern Slovakia is now with us. The next demand is going to be the Burgenland. To with the territories that we have, now our population is 10 million people. Almost all people who live there are Hungarians. Almost all. So Vien has refused to us. Okay, so we will take the Burgenland by our forces. Goodbye, my love, goodbye. And let's attack Austrians and go to Vienna. So Austrians are attacking us. And we can take the extensive conscription. And going to take the wartime mobilization. Oh, and German Reich declared war on Austria, so they are going to help us. Thanks, Germans! And now we are counterattacking the Austrians. Let's go to the Vienna, let's go to the Vienna. We can capture the Vienna first. At least we need to take the Burgenland. Oh, so we met with the German forces and now taking the Burgenland to our country. Helping to conquer the Vien. Yeah, we captured Bunga Burgenland and just look how many Austrian divisions are encircled right there. Oh, Hungarians took Vienna, but we'll take only these territories when we going to give to the German Reich. Thanks Germany that you helped us. Oh, Mikolaj Horty, chief of navy, we will take you. In my opinion, in, with Burgenland, we looks great, we looks perfect. Ukrainians took Bessarabia, so I can take Transylvania. Ukrainians declared war on Romania, just look at them. Uh, Ukrainians are going to have problems, but we'll help Ukrainians, yep. We will destroy the legendary Romania. So our plans have changed from Slovakia to Romania. Transylvania, hello there. What the fuck is that? Let it be it, let it be it. Romania refuses, so we will go to war with Romania. Let's go. So I did uh, thing like that. Well, well, look how is it all go. And yeah, we push them in the one way. And we'll go deep from these positions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will, we will encircle them. And go, go, go. As fast as we can, but we will go. Oh, now we have an, a Hungarian volunteers that can go further. Just try, my dudes. Just try to do that. The way to the Bucharest wasn't easy, but we will deal with that. Oh, just look what they are doing. They are fucking crazy. So we are moving to the next capital. Man, man, man. The whole Blitzkrieg push. Oh, and also I created 12 new divisions that are going to the front to help our dudes in the war with Romania. Oh, we encircled the divisions right there. And captured Bucharest again. Romania has fucked up with us. They can't even defend their new capital in Galati. Goodbye, Romania, goodbye. Ooh, Moldavia is clear. And Carpathian Mountains. They are staying in the Carpathian Mountains. And we can even join the Stahl Pact. Oh no, I don't want to join the Stahl Pact because they took Slovakia in the alliance. I don't need Slovakia. I'll help to destroy the Deutsche Reich. Just look at the Romania. It's disgusting. So Romania has capitulated and I will make Romania as my puppet and give Ukrainian back their territories. I'll liberate Romania. Yeah, it's small Romania, but liberated small Romania. As well as I will give the Bukovina to Ukraine. It's their territory. Chernovtsi is Ukraine. I need Vojvodina, I need Western Banat, I need Slavonia, I need Gorsky Kotar. Serbia refused to surrender Illyria, so we will destroy the kingdom of Serbia. Goodbye, Serbia. We will destroy you. So we push the one positions and like in the previous war, we will go 
a lot of snakes in the Serbian territory. Into the deeps of the Serbian territories. Oh, see, we can even encircle the Serbs there. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Push, 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 push. And go in this Ruma or Sormia. Well, my tactic is walking. We are pushing the Belgrad even. Oh, Zagreb is clear and we will encircle a lot. Really a lot of the Serbs divisions. And they, they are even weak, so we are going to our positions and encircle the Slovenia. Goodbye Serbs, goodbye. We took Belgrade and going into the deeps of the Serbia. 11% left to capitulate the Serbia. So first of all I'll take all that I need and then see what I can do with the territories. I'll take all states and decide after that. So now I'll look like this and what I will do with uh, Ljubljana and Maribor I will think now let's decide the fate of Slovakia, it's the last territory that we need, the whole Slovakia and Carpathia and Rutenia. If they won't give us chance to occupy them, we will gather forces and we will prepare to invade the Germany and Slovakia. Soviet Union can't defeat an, even the Mountain Republic and also Transcaspian government and now they have war with the Russian Empire and Japan. Yeah, Japan. Oh, and Ukraine got to war with the Poland now. We wish Ukraine a luck to defeat Poland. Okay, so we will crush Slovakia. 29th of January 1940, we declare war on Slovakia. And we gonna destroy these fucking Slovaks. Let's go and destroy them. Just look at the German Reich. They doesn't want to join that war. That's good. That's fine. Oh, so German Reich... Now join the war. Okay, okay, now you can join that war. So now we are defending our territories from Slovaks and Germans. Entente is doing good, so I don't care about German attacks. A lot of German forces are now concentrated on our country, so they are losing the whole front in the west. So I created more divisions to defend the whole Hungary. And yeah, our defense is doing not so bad, but Germans are doing bad. I'll give this territory to my European allies, to Italians. I'm even starting a few counter-attack moves. So to the history, Hungary will left at the good side of the history. We were left as the heroes of the Zweiter Weltkrieg. Oh, I also encircled Slovaks. And now I'm coming back, taking back my territories. Oh, Bratislava is free, almost free. So I will push to go to the Bratislava and other Slovak cities. Now I'm almost in Bratislava and going to Vienna right now. Slovakia has capitulated. That's perfect, that's perfect. We need to push further, further and take Vienna. Let's go to and take Vienna. German forces are now encircled in Slovakian mountains. They left Vienna. They left the Vienna. Okay, so we got the Vienna right now. Hungarian army took Vienna. Oh, these encirclements are the greatest one that I saw in this campaign. Encirclement is made and just look how many di divisions are left there. That's just wow. There is 20 divisions encircled right here in Croatia. Oh, Entente is right now near Berlin. A few places left with Slovakia, but we will clear them. Oh, another big encirclement. So now we can help our allies and destroy the Bulgarian Republic. We have war with them. There we go, now we are in uh, Sofia and we are going to Varna, Burgas and other cities like Plovdiv. Good name for the city, Plovdiv. So now Bulgaria is almost captured, we are going to the Burgas, we almost captured Plovdiv as well as Varna. We encircled divisions in the Plovdiv. Bulgaria has capitulated. Look at this, Ukraine is destroying the Polish army. Good job, Ukraine. So the Germany has capitulated. And I'm going to take Bulgaria. Wait a second, where is my Slovakia? No, 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 friends. I give Slovenia to Italians. I conquered the Slovakia, so Slovakia is mine. 
We will liberate Bulgaria. Yeah, look at this Bulgaria with national populists. And the fate of Slovakia is military occupation. So now the population of the Great Hungary, of the Great Hungarian National State is 25 million people. Quarter of the 100 million people. That's a greatness. That's a greatness of the Hungary. We are the great power of the Balkans. So yeah, it's the end of the campaign because the All Focus 3 is completed. So, so thanks for watching, wait for the new videos and bye. Put the like for the Great Hungary.